GBTV is brought to you by Grand Blank CTE. Millions of people make resolutions to start the year on a fresh note. Optimism is hopefulness and confidence about the future or the successful outcome of something. The new year is a time to become excited about things in your future. Setting goals doesn't always have to mean sitting down and making a formal plan. A goal is an idea of the future or desired result that a person or a group of people envision, plan, and commit to achieve. Now is the time to think forward and think positive. What will this year bring for you? Trips? Graduation? A new job? Being optimistic doesn't mean thinking unrealistically and always expecting the best from every situation. A new year brings new challenges, but looking forward to all of the good times and opportunities that will come along can bring your year both luck and joy. Optimism is a mindset and a way of life. In the new year, make the choice to open up the window and let optimism in. And with that, the 2022 season comes to an end. Good night. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Legendary sports figures of all time died Thursday at the age of 82. More mandates ending throughout the country. Starting Sunday, international travelers no longer need to test negative for COVID-19. The end is in sight. Stafford rolling and throwing, caught, caught, touchdown. Stafford gets the job done. The Wolverines are back to back. Big Ten champions. Messi's hang on! That's what they came for! Turbo. 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 Weezy out of Happy 2023. Hello, this is my friend Alex. Alex, what are you looking forward to in 2023? The, the new Fortnite season's coming out, so we're gonna be grinding with the boys. What was your favorite memory of 2022? The seat check incident in the student store. What is your New Year's resolution? Just be a better person, kind, be a good person to all my friends and family. You know, because I love these people right here, my family. I'm actually graduating. I would love to lose 20 pounds. 20 pounds, you guys. New Year's resolution. Get fat. It's just to be myself, have fun in this new year. Stop spending all my money on food, to be honest. What was your favorite thing about 2022? Summer. What's your New Year's resolution? Read a book before bed every night. A whole book? Like a bedtime story? No, like read books. Try to finish like 40 books by next year. What was your guys' favorite memory of 2022? Probably when I won the bowling tournament. Moving to Michigan. Mm. Cool. There's a few good ones. You know, you got you got some football or, you know, when I'm hooping. What are you excited for for 2023? 
year. Being here every day, I love school so much. It's my favorite thing. You know, get your education, go to college. I'm looking forward to graduating. What are you looking forward to in the new year? Getting all A's. Definitely spring break. Really excited for it. What was your favorite memory of 2022? It was over. Okay, thanks. Really. What's up, guys? Let's talk about purpose this week. I watched a lot of TED Talks on this subject, and I happened to stumble across one by Steve Harvey. One of the things he says is that purpose is the thing that you do with the least amount of effort the best. Another thing he says that is he would hate to die knowing he didn't do the thing he was meant to do. It's purpose. But you could also connect that to passion. Passion is that thing that wakes you up in the morning, that burning feeling you get when you're doing the thing you love. One place I also saw passion was this whale TED talk, and she happened to be talking about how whales were still being killed after laws were put into place that protected them. She made over one million origami whales and put them in a museum. People walked in wondering, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at all these whales. But they walk out knowing that all these whales had been slaughtered against their will. She took passion and made a change in the world. Take your passion, take your purpose, and make a change in the world. So I got to say today, I actually don't have a song of the week, so see you later. Uh, yeah, welcome to Get Over, guys. Uh, uh, my name is James, and uh, I'll be taking care of you guys today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Cash, uh, cash, you are uh, actually so beautiful. Like, <laughs> that is not what I say. <laughs> no. In the new year now, so do you guys have any resolutions for the year? I don't really make any. Well, deep down, I'm always trying to work to be a better person. I'm trying to be like Cash. You know, I'm just trying to stay swole, get swoller. <laughs> Talk to the ops next for me. It's 21. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. What is your role in GBTV? You know me, I do everything. True. You know, I edit, I be in videos, you know, top tier actor. <laughs> nah, I need to get better with camera work, that's all. I do a few things. I'll edit sometimes, camera work. I usually plan for future videos. I guess I'm an advice giver, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Like, what types of videos do you guys usually lean towards? I like meaningful videos with, like, gets people in their mm -hmm. feels. Same. Mm -hmm. I like making videos that people can look back on and feel, like, some sort of emotional tie. But I'm, I'm about to get into this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, girls are missing! What is your favorite part of class? The people. Definitely Dang. the people. You know, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like family. Oh. What do you guys do outside of school? You know, <laughs> in the gym every day. No, is I that your entire personality? Just working out <laughs> in the gym? Let's see, so I go to the gym, I go to work, and I work on music. Can't breathe, I'm waiting for the exhale. Tap my feet with my wishes in the <laughs> My voice can't go loud. Now do another song, do another song. You said you do music, right? Yeah, I've been making music since like 2020, my friend, Aiden. Let I'm me think of songs else. I have that are that are good, that are yeah. out. Why do you release them if they're not good? It was like over a year ago. I do have a song. No, that song is bad. Not play that one. <laughs> no, 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 that's actually, that's my, that's like my, that's my first song. Produced by me. Sounds emo cash. You have to sing it. at Qdoba with cash. You should pop by and if I recognize you, I'll give you a discount. I will. Give them five oh yeah, star leave us a five star review, please. For at least the next two to three months, General Motors will look a lot more like government motors. Well, tense meetings at the White House, billions of dollars and tens of thousands of jobs on the line, bailing out GM and Chrysler. With a bailout or without one, the big three automakers will also still have to lay off thousands of workers. They are back on Capitol Hill today, asking Congress for emergency funds. More bad news for Flint schools and their employees. Schools were just shut down. Now less than a week later, another bombshell. More than 200 teachers and other staff members are being laid off. School board members tell LBC 25 that many of the teachers are from the four schools that will be closing. My name is Martin Jennings. Um, I taught at Flint Central High School from 1981 through 2006. 
when I arrived in 1981, Flint District was thriving. Fortunately for me, in the late 70s, 1970s, the district decided they wanted to uh, create programs that would attract even more students to the district. And one of those programs was the Fine Arts Magnet, which was located at Flint Central High School. And this is on the idea that and when I arrived, there were 28,000 students in the Flint Community Schools at that time at five different comprehensive high schools. And it was very exciting. But in the late 70s, they decided to have magnet programs to allow each of those buildings to specialize in academics or electives that would be interesting or um, good for students. So Central High School was designated as the Fine Arts Magnet because it was right, in the, right behind or right next to the Flint Cultural Center, which totally made sense. It was just a win, win, win opportunity to have Central High School in the Flint schools as part of the Flint Cultural Center. And uh, the saddest story is that today in 2022, uh, Central High School still stands there, but there's no school going on in there anymore. And uh, a conscious decision was to make, made to close it up without a whole lot of planning for what was gonna happen next, or what was gonna happen to the building next. And it's very hard to drive by there. Um, as I sit here today, um, I live in the neighbor over by Mott College in this, at this time, but um, it's hard for me to drive by the school on Crapewell Street, and I can see my classroom windows from the street, and um, we see what the fallout has been from people who've got broken into the building and desecrated the building and stolen things from the building. And I, recently, I believe there was a fire in the lobby of the auditorium. I look behind me at the background in this, this interview, and I see Central High School. It's not the same Central High School that was there when, when I first came to work here. Um, the trees are gone that line the boulevard in this driveway next to the library. But to me, that whole concept of we're just gonna stop that programming, and um, I guess facetiously I say, it's almost as if they're saying, well, that was just too successful for us, so we're gonna put an end to it, which, which bothers me to this day. Thank you.